Good morning. Good morning. Hola. Buenos dias. Jumbo. See Jumbo. Habargani. Hello, we little people. It's your Granny Renee coming to work with you today in the area of gardening. Yes, my dears, we're going to be continuing our gardening class by way of the YouTube. And I'm expecting each one of you to be involved. Hello, good morning, parents. How are you, parents? I miss you all, terribly so. And I'm growing plants for your family and the children. And we'll see you soon. Today, we are going to discuss four ways of setting up our inside garden and an outside garden. First, we have a gardening pot with a small amount of dirt that we placed in from this bag. Next, a bag of dirt, a gardening pot. We have a watering bottle. I know the children can tell the parents about this bottle. Everybody loves to spray that bottle, especially the superstars. But the honey bears love it too. We're going to look at sweet peas today, sugar snap peas. Each child is going to have their own sugar snap pea. We're going to look at garlic. We're going to look at onion. And we're going to look at radishes. So, if you'll bear with me, we're going to take one plant from the plant container and place it into our growing box. While you were gone, I sprouted all of these sugar peas for each child to have their own plant. So, I'm going to take a regular spoon. The children and I do this all the time. I'm going to dig down into the pot, and voila, what do I have? Jace can tell you, Kennedy can tell you, Judah can tell you too. So can Marley. These are roots. These are roots at the end of the plant, and that's what helps the plant to grow. That is the seed that we put into the ground so that it could grow from that seed. That this plant grew out of this seed right here. Very good, sugar peas. You're doing great for we little people. Now, we little people, we did this last year. And you took them home with you. This time, we're going to keep them here at we little people. You make a hole with your spoon. You take your spoon and you punch a hole right into the dirt. Then you go back to your sprouting pot. And voila, there's that root again and the seed. Okay, we bring it over to our hole and we pop it into the dirt. All right, we're gonna do three more just like that. Then you'll get the idea of what we're doing. We're lining up. We're making a line with the sugar peas. Good job, sugar peas. Stand in line like a soldier. Stand at attention. Don't move, sugar peas. We little people want to see you. Stand in line. OK, here we go. Another one is coming out. There it goes. It's into the dirt. All right. This line is really doing well. Now, boys and girls, I forgot to mention to you, and everybody told me, especially my elders, that I should tell you, if you don't want dirt on your hands, like Miss Renee, you don't have to have dirt on your hands. We'll give you a glove, and you can put it on, and then dig your holes in the dirt. My granddaughter, she wouldn't touch the dirt. She loves the garden, but she won't touch the dirt. So that's when I found out that gloves was going to be the best thing to do. So if you have gloves around your house and you don't want to touch the dirt, it's OK. You can put the gloves on and then touch the dirt. Now, we're getting ready to put the last sugar snap pea 
into line. They're all lining up for we little people's children so that we can grow sugar snap peas to eat at lunchtime with Miss Gloria. By the way, Miss Gloria told me to say, hola, como se llama, we love you. Thank you. Miss Deborah, you see the line? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Sugar snap peas all lined up. Now we have radishes. This is the last one that we're gonna do. These are red radishes, garlic and onion. Now, my grandfather taught me 50 years ago to always sprout your garlic in November and December so that when January and February come, you can take your garlic and your onion, place it in box, in the planting box with the rest of your vegetables or your fruit, and it will protect it from bugs. Keep the snails back, keep the slugs back, because it's sulfur and it has a terrible smell and it makes the bugs run. This is radish. When you get down deep, you'll be able to see its roots as well. Radish, the roots are red and white because they're gonna grow a round red circle. And that's what you eat so that you won't catch the flu and that you can stay well and strong. So we're gonna grow lots and lots of radishes, lots and lots of onions, and lots and lots of garlic. Here it goes. I'm getting ready to dig me a hole and pop the radish right near the sugar pea. Come on, radish. There you go. Another line. See it? There it is. Radish number two, heading for the box. Michaela, I think you'll have to help me with this. Marley, your fingers are better and tighter than mine. Judah, I know you love the smell of onion. Oh yeah. There we go, we got them in. This is We Little People's Vegetable Garden Box. Thank you. Tony, Tony, oh Tony, we got, did you see this bag of dirt, Tony? We got big bags of dirt so that Tony will be able to dig and dig and dig. We're gonna have gardens going up the fence we're gonna have gardens in boxes, and we're gonna have small gardening boxes so that you could take them home and grow some there. Well, we little people, it's so wonderful doing gardening with you today. I've been preparing this for months on end, January to now, so I didn't wanna miss the opportunity even though they told me I had to stay inside. I came out to see you. Adios, hasta luego, bye-bye, love you.